Hi, this is Asing. You are now watching Asing SL TV. Today, we would like to share how to check or reset all type boxes only for a specific column or row decided by users. Without further ado, let's get started. Firstly, create a control to check all the check boxes under column B. Go to the developer tab and click on insert. I would like to use label under ActiveX controls. Insert at the desired location. Next, go to the insert tab. In the illustrations group, select icon. Type check in the search engine, select the desired icon and insert. We may crop and remove some of the blank areas. Then change the graphics field as preferred. Press Ctrl C to copy and delete this icon. Then select the label. Go back to the developer tab and click on properties. Change the back style to transparent and delete the caption. Then next to picture, press Ctrl V to paste. Next, create a control to reset all the chat boxes under column B. Insert another label. Place it at the desired location. Again, go to the insert tab and select icons. This time, I would like to search for arrow. Scroll down and look for the desired icon. Select and insert. Also, change the graphics field as preferred. Then, copy and delete it. Next, select the label and go back to the developer tab. Click on properties. Again, change back style to transparent. Delete the caption and paste the icon next to picture. With the two labels, select the cell. Move the cursor to the bottom right corner. Then, drag and copy for the rest of the columns. We should now proceed to the coding part. Double click on the first label. Firstly, determine the cell where this label is located. Create a dummy, say A. I would use me to represent the selected worksheet. Use the dot label 1 to reference the control and followed by the top left cell property. Since this control will check all the check boxes of the selected column, we should only refer to the column property. Next, create a for loop to run through each checkbox. Create a dummy, say CB, which must be in this worksheet. If the checkboxes were created using form controls, we should refer to checkboxes. On the other hand, for ActiveX controls, I will explain the code later. Let's set a condition using if statement to find out all the checkboxes that are in the selected column. Refer to the variable with the left property. This left value must be greater than the left value of the selected column, that is A, and less than the left value of the next column, that is A plus 1. If this is the case, then we should turn the value of the checkbox to XL on and this if statement with and if. Finish one checkbox, press it to the next. Now let's write the code to reset all the checkboxes for the selected column. Double click on the second label. Let's make use of this code. Highlight the code and copy. Then paste it here. Change label 1 to label 2 while on to off. Next, Instead of reusing and amending codes one by one for the rest of the labels, why not follow this hack to simplify the task? Back to spreadsheet and press Ctrl N to create a new workbook. Since the controls to check and reset all checkboxes of the selected column with number alternately odd even, odd even, and so on, then I would create two columns with one label as odd and the other label as even. Under odd, type 1 and press enter, select the cell, then in the editing group, select fail and choose series. Select columns with a step value of 2 
and stop value of 7 for this case. Click on OK. Then under even, type 2 and press enter. Select the cell. Again, in the editing group, select fill and choose series. Also, select columns with a step value of 2. But this time, I should use a stop value of 8. Press on OK. Save this workbook. Navigate to the desired location. Rename the file for easy reference. Save it. Close this workbook. Then go back to Visual Basic, highlight all the codes and copy. Next, open a blank Word document. Paste the codes. Then go to the Mailings tab. Click on Select Recipients and choose Use an Assisting List. Navigate to the file location. Select the file and click on Open. Click on OK. Highlight one. Then insert Merge Fail. Replace it with odd numbers. Repeat the same step for the other one. Next, highlight two. And this time, we should replace it with even numbers. Repeat the same step for the other two. Lastly, press Alternate Shift N and select OK. Then, press Ctrl A and followed by Ctrl C. Go back to Visual Basic and press Ctrl V to paste. Go back to the spreadsheet, turn off Design Mode and we should now be able to check or reset all checkboxes in the same column in just one click. Now let's try for checkboxes that will create it under ActiveX controls. Use the same method to create labels for each row. Then double click on the first label. Similarly, we need a variable, say A. Also use me to represent the selected worksheet and label one to call the label. Again, use the top left cell to determine which cell the label is. However, we should use role property for this case. Next, create a for loop with a variable, say, obj to run through each object in the selected worksheet. Take note that ActiveX controls are known as OLE objects. Since I have more than one type of OLE objects in this worksheet, the label and the checkbox, this, I should set a condition to differentiate them. Use if statement together with in string function and I should make sure the name of the object consists of the string check that will return a value that is greater than zero. If this is the case, then we can now check the position. Similarly, use if statement but this time we should check the top value which must be greater than the top value of the selected row, that is A, and less than the top value of the next row, that is A plus 1. If this condition is fulfilled, then we should set the value of the object to true. Since we have two if statements, we should end with to and if. Finish one object, press it to the next. Next, double click on the second label. Make use of this code, highlight the code and copy, then paste it here. Change label 1 to 2 while through to false. Use the same method to generate the codes for all labels. Then go back to the spreadsheet, turn off the design mode, and we should now be able to check or reset all the checkboxes in the same row in just one click. As we can see here. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.